Good afternoon, gentlemen. My name is Louis Steves. I'm with RDI Solutions. I've been here at the company now since February of 2012. I'm here today to introduce you to the Sharp Aries and Virgo line and a unique device used through Sharp called the UI interface. This is the interface of the Sharp's Aries and Virgo line. If you noticed, there are icons on the screen. They act just as an iPad, or what we like to call touch screen. All these are interchangeable and customized to your features. Here we're showing you now a similar screen. It's actually customized. In the customized screens, we could actually do this for the retail environment, such as yourself. Stores like PC Richards, Abrahamson Strauss, not a screen that we customize. We customize it for the retail environment. As we go through the demonstration, we'll show you a detailed, more detailed customized screen. On this screen, we're now showing a more detailed customized screen. If you noticed, we only have several buttons shown. This is to simplify the tasks at hand. Sharp OSA, if you just want to do a copy, if you want to email to your accounting department, FTP to desktop. We're going to go to the preview screen and preview our documents. Okay. At this point, you could actually preview each one of the pages, simply swiping across to the next page. Oh, we got a blank one there. This one looks good. We got a document upside down. That one looks good too. But I wanted to show you something else. You could see this in several different ways. This is like a thumbnail that you may see on like an iTunes. Here's our blank page again. The one that's upside down is here. And one other way. It's called thumbnail. You could actually choose every one, each one of them. Let's go back to the way I like to see it. Something that's a blank page. Well, it's similar to an iTunes. This is the page that was upside down. What we're going to do is to take the upside down page, correct it, and eliminate this blank page. Go to edit mode. Tap the document or page that we don't want. Simply drag it to our trash. Go to our other page that's upside down, number four here. Tap it again. Turn. Simple. Exit the edit mode. and now we'll execute the job. You have two choices, print it all in black and white or do it in color. Simply press the button you desire and off it goes. Back at the home screen, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to email a document directly to our accounting department. Like I said, the customized screens that we have in front of us, simply tap Put in your email address. Just like a keyboard, when you make a typing error, back. And then press the OK button. Over here, I want to show you something a little different. Most everybody has a 
virtual keyboard. We have something a little different. Slide out keyboard. This enables you for a lot more ease of use. A lot more people in the workforce are used to keyboards versus the touch screens. I mean, isn't that something you'd like in your next MFP? Most everybody has a virtual keyboard. We have something a little different. Slide out keyboard. This enables you for a lot more ease of use. A lot more people in the workforce are used to keyboards versus the touch screens. I mean, isn't that something you'd like in your next MFP? Back at the home screen, we wanted to show you authentication. Right now, we're in the administrations or administrators tab. By being in the administrator tab, or the person that's the administrator at this point, has their own identification. This enables them to do specific instructions and specific features that other users can't do. Not only that, this type of authentication will enable the accounting department to see what department in the retail environment is actually using what print. You could actually lock out color, lock out emails, lock out almost anything you're looking for to give you more security on your device. Simply put in your user ID or authentication code. When you're done, log out. The next person coming in will have whatever you decide to allow that person to use. Back at the home screen again, we're going to do copy and send at the same time. So once again on our customized screen, copy, up here it says send and print. So we're going to tap that. Over here you'd have a list of email names of people that you'd like to send a copy to. Touch that person, hit your color or well, black and white print, it'll copy it and at the same time send an email to that individual. Something you'd like in the next MFP, correct? One other feature we're going to show you is how to scan to a network folder. Once again, on our customized screen, over here on our arrow, so we don't need to have this all the time, it'll show up. Network folder. Tap it. Tap here once again, using the virtual keyboard. Type in where you'd like to send it. Hit your start button. It'll scan and send it to the folder. Not only a folder, you can be a specific folder. So you don't have to go back to your desk, rename the file, and send it somewhere else. You could actually send it right from the shop device into the exact detailed folder. Once again, back at our home screen, I'm going to show you a little bit more detail in the copier. Top copy. Play with your color mode. We like keeping it on auto. I have obviously full color. Press OK. The original is in auto size, but you can the different sizes all depend upon if you put in a certain size. But if you keep the copy at auto, it'll automatically determine what size you used. Exposure. Exposure. Once again, you can change the texture, print, color, light of the original, map it out. Well, back to auto again. Copy ratio. You can change the copy ratio, which is the zoom in and out. Paper select, two sided copy. You can go one, one side to one side, or one side to two sides, two to two, or two back into one. These are features you won't find in every copier. Staple and sort. We obviously have it off. But you can actually staple up at the top, up at the right, change the paper around. Also over here, once you find or figure out how you want to set up your copier, you can store it 
in the program registry. We're going to call it number one here. Excuse me, delete that one. And we're going to name it Lose Job. Lose Job. We just wanted to cancel that out. We don't want to store it in our copier right now. Once again, back to the home screen. Like I showed you before with all these customized screens, something I definitely like to see on any electronic or mechanical device you purchase today. An owner's manual. Right on the screen. You can actually open it up learn more about your unit than even the sales representatives can tell you. It's searched by index, go by faxes, get an overview, and actually see everything the unit can do. It's not like you pull out the book, the book is attached and memorized inside the unit. This enables you to, if you ever get hung up or any questions about your own unit, you can go right to its owner's manual that's on the home page. Once again, back to the home page. Right over here, operations manual. Something that every machine should have. One thing I wanted to mention, Sharp is an innovative, not only in the copier and the technology and adding this wonderful touch screen, but they also think of the environment. Sharp has always been an, an innovator and eco-friendly products. Over here in your settings, it gives you the ability to play with the energy savings. You need to log in, so we're just gonna we're gonna show you something incredible. Eco mode. Go right over to eco mode and you can actually see how the eco mode is set up right now. You have Eco Scan. It's on when it's sending mode only. The Auto Power Shutoff Timer changes transfer time from time to time. The day is on auto. As soon as the remote job is finished, enter Auto Power Shutoff mode. It's off or it's on. You can set this device up to as eco friendly as possible, keeping your energy costs down, lowering your carbon footprint on the planet any retail environment would be wanting to have something like this. Gentlemen, I wanted to thank you for allowing me to demonstrate the new shop, Aries and Virgo line. There's only three things I need to know from you. Cash, check, or finance. How do you want to take care of this and have it delivered tomorrow?